Hello, hello, welcome on back to another episode of Terraria, and I am a derp, and I didn't do the, 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 the volume settings back up to 100%, my apologies about that, there we go. Things are actually heard now. Uh, last episode, we went down into the underground, and mined up a bunch of hellstone over here, uh, and made the weapons, the tools, um, as well as the armor associated with it. So, with this in mind, we are going to actually take on the Bee Queen this time around. This is supposed to be the best, uh, at least melee armor, uh, available at this tier before we get to hard mode, which involves killing the Wall of Flesh, um, we'll get to that later on. Uh, so we should have no problem with the Queen of Bee. And buff, by the way. I did bring some buffs. Yeah, made this arena. Uh, it's a lot bigger than what we had before. It should allow us to navigate and dodge as much as we can without worrying too much about it. Well, I'm not taking as much damage as I normally would, I think. Alright, Mini Shark, do your job, do your job. need to die. Uh, Queen Bee needs to figure out what the heck she's doing, so I know what she's doing. Ow. Actually, only getting hit for 12 damage. Uh, not, not that bad, actually. Alright, are these, uh, her singers this time around? Yeah, it looks like it. 17 damage, and I'm still losing HP, but I'm near the campfires. I don't have any, uh, heart, uh, heart, um, uh, heart things. Heart things. The, the, the Heart Lanterns. There we go. That's, that's, that's what I was looking for. So we're going to have to rely on a bit of the poison to wear out here in a few seconds for uh, campfire regeneration to kick in. Uh, which is still pretty slow because I don't have any other regen items available around here. How's the Queen Bee doing, by the way? I feel like I did a good, decent job against that. I got poisoned, I can take a health potion because it'll bring me back up near the pole. And the Queen Bee needs to... Needs to die, honestly. Queen Bee, stop running. I want to hit you with the sword. Let me hit you with the sword. I'll actually take that right there, because it'll take me another hit then to die. And let me actually back off just a bit. We may actually do it. I also think we need to uh, upgrade our ranged weapon here. This uh, mini shark is just not really doing it for us anymore, it seems like. Granted, it has low damage to begin with, but uh, I should be able to do more than that. Also, my health. Whoa, my health. Uh, I need to. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did not expect the, the dodging at me. Hello. Alright, she is back to her stinger ways, it looks like. I'm doing it even more and more rapidly. Oh, by the way, I also have the imp summoned. A um, little bit of extra damage, I think. I also don't have any honey nearby, which may be the downfall of me, but I got 20 seconds left on a health potion, huh? That's, that's not good. And it's actually not good. Queen Bee, where'd you go? Oh, ow. Alright, one second. Oh, oh, wait. We got the Queen Bee, everyone. We got the Queen Bee. That was a tough fight. That actually was a tough fight. And our potions actually were about to wear out. Our swiftness is now out. We had a little bit of time left on that. Iron Skin's about to wear out. Yeah, wow. Okay. We did it. 
We did it. Oh, uh, the, our thorns portion also wore out. Uh, our thorns potion also wore out. <laughs> so it only has a two minute timer on it. Uh, but let's see, what all did we get here? We got some bee nades, and we got a bat trying to kill us here. Go away, bat. You are not very interesting to me. We got some bottled honey. Uh, the bee nades, what are they? They are 14 throwing damage, 12% crit chance, uh, very fast, uh, explosive to a swarm of bees, that's not good fun. Uh, some bee wax. That's apparently a material. We'll have to see what those go into. A bee shirt, a vandy item. Uh, side of the bee's knees. Oh, uh, that's a modifier, sighted. Uh, the item is called the bee's knees, okay. <laughs> what? Uh, 30 range damage, 15% crit strike chance, fast speed, very knockweak back, and wooden arrows turn into a column of bees. What? Uh, that's interesting. Uh, high wand, so you can crit your own bee nest, I'm going to assume. Uh, violent honeycomb, corruptible material, but this is bees when damaged. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, and the Arcane High Pack increases the strength of friendly bees, plus 20 mana and expert item. And, uh, Tyrona the Witch Doctor has arrived, apparently. Let's go check her out. I do assume that's a her. What do you have? Who are you? You have the Imbuing Station. Used to craft weapon imbuement fuss, that's interesting, and a blowgun. Um, I will buy that now. I'll buy the Imbuing Station. I don't know entirely what you offer here. But I'll take it. I'll put it down for now. I'll have to do some research on that. Um, but, honestly, we will see what all we can do with uh, the bee wax here. Uh, you can make an armor set out of it. You can make a horned staff. Uh, I believe this is a summon item. Yes, it is. Uh, is this summoning gear, actually? Uh, increases minion damage by 4%, uh, 4%, 5%, uh, yeah, very, very little defense on there, and increases maximum number of minions on the headgear and breastplate, it looks like. Um, yeah, essentially, this is a summoning gear set, okay, and we could also make bee nades out of that. So if we wanted more bee nades, we could use that to make it. Alrighty. I'm uh, not sure I'm entirely interested in any of those items, but we did get to defeat the Queen Bee. Thankfully. Um, I am curious to know exactly how fast this fires, and I don't have any wooden arrows on me. Uh, those are Jester, those are Hellfire. Do I have any wooden arrows? Any? No? Okay. Um, materials? No? Nothing? Okay. Um, how the heck do you make a wooden arrow again? <laughs> I actually don't remember. It's a uh, wooden, wooden, uh, I, 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 I don't know. I have no idea. None whatsoever. <coughs> oh, excuse me for that. Uh, well, let's see, uh, Darius, do you, do you sell wooden arrows by chance? No? Wait, really? Okay, uh, do you, do you sell? No? Um, where's our general merchant? Ah, Mortimer. Mortimer, do you have arrows? Wooden arrows? You do. 25 of them should do just fine. Uh, whatever happened to the target dummy I had? I don't think I ever remade him on this world. Uh, so let's see. What? Turns into a column of bees. Okay, well, he was not joking about that. The item was definitely not joking about that. Um, Imp. Go away for the moment. I. Hello. Hello, strange play. Interesting. So that's doing. Wait. Oh, hey, the bees will actually then go attack them afterwards. Okay. I 
actually do have to click though for each time, so it's not an automatic item. Uh, interesting. Interesting. Um, my question now is, what is that compared to the Molten Fury, uh, the ranged weapon of the Hillstone? Uh, let's see... Flame Orang, Molten Fury, there we go. Takes 15, that's 32 damage, so slightly increased. Lower crit strike chance, though I think the sided might be the one that's... Yeah. Okay, so the side is actually adding some damage and some crit strike chance. Okay. Um... So the damage is even less than 30 normally. And the crit chance is indeed 12 still. Alright. Um, is there another ranged weapon here that I may prefer instead? Actually, I wouldn't mind getting the Phoenix Blaster. Uh, the Phoenix Blaster, however, uh, we'll have to go to the dungeon another time in the future. Uh, in order to get that, and uh, we also have to get the Strill and Fatima unit. But uh, we need a lot of more time before we can actually get to that. Um, let's see, the flaming ring, chicken ring, actually it's not a bad item. Hmm. <clears throat> uh, but yeah. Molten Fury, I think we'll, uh, I think we'll give that a go. We need 15 of them for our bow, and I barely have enough. Uh, Molten Fury, there it is. And do we get a modifier on this? We do not. Alright, we can go ahead and goblin it up. You, we forge this. Uh, Demonic actually is probably not a bad item. A uh, bad modifier on that. And training dumby. I don't know if I ever made one in this world. I'd like to find just a enemy mob and try this out. Wait. Lights, wooden arrows ablaze, so you always have uh, flaming arrows. Okay. That's good to know. Uh, mobs. Anywhere? Anything? Please? I wish to test out the bow on you. Mobs? Hello? Mobs? Nothing? Really? Oh, there's one. So you're doing 44, 42 damage. And that'll keep doing damage even after the fact. I don't know. This uh, Bebo, the bee's knees, is a very interesting thing, but uh, it just doesn't have the straight up like damage output as this one does. Now I might be able to make the bee, bee's knees a bit better um, in terms of damage and whatnot. Maybe make it a little bit more worth it. Uh, let me let me go ahead and uh, see what I can do. I uh, will continue the episode here in a moment. Already found out the bee's knees will never do more damage than the Molten Fury. Um, it just has a lower base stat. Uh, I made them both are demonic. Um, it is the best for ranged weapons, the best modifier. If you are not concerned about uh, the knockback uh, attribute, otherwise you would want to go for Unreal. Um, or if you know the the ranged weapon that doesn't have anything uh, related to that. Then you can go for Unreal. Um, so I'm actually going to shelve the bees knees, as well as most of this other, uh, most of these other items here that I've gotten, because um, I'm not sure they really serve a purpose for me at the moment. What? Yep. Come here. Protect me. Protect me while I'm trying to do uh, some I'm sorting and talking here. Um. Yeah. So, I, I have nothing against them. I, I like them. Uh, that's material. Uh, both accessories. Oh, by the way, my uh, accessories one chest is full, so I had to make accessories two. Yeah. 
Uh, oh, and um, while we're over here at the base, um, I ended up getting a bunch of items uh, from fishing and uh, exploring a bit. Uh, I got those from the ice biome. Uh, I got these from the jungle biome, so I'm gonna put this down there so we can cover that. I uh, put my fishing rod in there because I need an empty space. Got this, this, and these. Uh, the fishing set, the angler set of armor from the fishing quests. Uh, got this, this, and that, and that. Uh, and th we got these three items from fishing quests as well. They're all related to fishing. Um, fishing skill, decreased bait consumption chance, and fishing line will never break. I uh, got the fuzzy carrot. I'm not entirely sure where I got this, but it allows me to ride a bunny. Who doesn't want to ride a bunny? Bunny is overpowered, kind of. It, he's actually, he's a bad, he, he's a bad mount. I mean, it, giant bunny and all, I, I like it. And, you know, bunny, because bunnies are awesome, but, um, no. No. I <laughs> uh, got a golden key by briefly peeking into the dungeon way over here. As you can kind of see uh, on the minimap, I actually did kind of go down. I ended up going right about uh, where that book is uh, in terms of depth. Um, uh, the book being that purple dot there. Um, went about down that far and none of the uh, guardians of the dungeon spawned on me. Uh, for those that are aware of the, what those are, <laughs> you'll be kind of surprised to know that I went down that far without getting killed. Uh, but yeah, I, I did explore the dungeon just a bit. I was trying to get something from there uh, that I was unable to. So there is that. Uh, let's see, though. We... Uh, we are going to actually make up some wooden arrows here for us to be using with our bow. Our newfound bow. Uh, we will be using the mini shark in the meantime as well. Um, I'm not sure there is much else for me to do in terms of that. And did I just put everything away? I did. I'm very much okay with that actually. Because I was, I was going to do that anyway. Um, yeah. Um, is there anything else I wish to do this episode? I don't think so. I don't think it really is. Uh, at least, well, there are things I want to do, obviously, but uh, n nothing I can do in the remaining time this episode. So I think I will go ahead and call it there right after I turn in this strange plant. Reflective obsidian die. Oh. Awesome. There we go. Got some more of this die. That's exactly what I wanted. It really is exactly what I wanted. Oh, by the way, uh, if, it, it's interesting to note, um, if you have the shield of Cthulhu hidden, and you go to use it, it, it shows up there, you know, because you're dashing with it. But it doesn't apply the die, but if you have it unhidden and dash with it, it it'll always show the die properly. Uh, it, it, it's an interesting bug, if you ask me. Or maybe it's intended, I don't know. Ah, uh, well, who knows. Uh, but yeah, that'll be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, remember to leave a like and comment on down below. Uh, but we did it. We finally did it. We finally killed the Queen Bee. And there we go. Just trying to get the items into the... Uh, uh, wait a minute. Just, uh, just hold on a second. These are material. All oh, right, these are required for the. Uh, okay. And whoops, made it. Uh, anywho, hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, take it easy. <laughs>